In this video, we're going to learn that how to record the bank deposits in Sage 50. And again, this is a part of a bank accounting or the banking in Sage 50. If you click on this banking tab, and here we have this option bank deposits. If you drop down this option, we have this option new bank deposit and you can add it the bank deposit and also view the bank deposit. Now what is the purpose of this bank deposit? It helps you to streamline your account reconciliation or the bank reconciliation in Sage 50 accounting. For example, I'm going to check the report of our receivable of our customer that is carry for that we need to receive from the carry for this 350 350 is the balance receivable balance from our customer carry for and let's suppose we are receiving a check of Noor Islamic Bank from our customer carry for so we need to do our receive money we need to record the transaction go in the task receive money i'm not giving any deposit ticket id right now the customer id is carry four we are receiving a check that is one two zero one two zero and that is your receipt number and we are receiving this check let's suppose on 13th of August and we are receiving in no Islamic Bank the payment method is check and you are receiving that in uh, that is the invoice number 9630 and the invoice total is 350 you can write here the description and we are receiving the full 350 and then save it so we are receiving a check from our customer right that the check number is 120120 and the check amount is 350 so we receive this check today and we just record the res uh, that receipt transaction the receipt money and we need to deposit this 350 check into our Noor Islamic Bank also so you need to click the save option you can check the ledger balance that becomes zero but still we need to deposit this check in Noor Islamic Bank so for that you need to select deposit you can use go here in the banking and here we have this bank deposit you can click this option or you can go in the task and we have this option select for deposit so remember whenever you are receiving any check from your customer after receive money you have to deposit you need to select this option select for deposit to deposit that check into our bank uh, the bank account whatever the bank is this will help you in your bank reconciliation in sage 50 so i'll select this option select for deposit and i want to select like what i want because that check belongs to Noor islamic bank so that is the Noor islamic bank and that is a deposit ticket id which you need to present when you whenever you are presenting this to in the bank you need to give this uh, deposit ticket id to the bank so these are the amount which we receive from our customer right this is the check number one two 0120 on 13th of august and that is a pdc check so let's suppose uh, we are saving we are depositing all so you can check this option you can check this option if you're depositing on the same day and then save it so that is how you will record deposit or you do the bank deposit in sage 50 that whenever you are receiving money from your customer the same day if you are depositing that check into your bank then you need to select this option select for deposit and it will streamline you it will help you in your account reconciliation which you need to do in sage 50 accounting